And God is going to speak to you specifically about this. This is a day you're never going to forget. When those of you who are here from all over America, from all over the world, from different places in the world, we're here together standing uh, briefly but powerfully for the preborn children that are scheduled to be killed today. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage you. Don't let this be the only thing you do. Go back to your parishes. Go back to your to your pre, to your churches. Mm -hmm. Talk to your pastors. Be gentle but be firm. Let them know that this is in your heart and you need their leadership. You need their support to do whatever it is that God calls you to do to stand for the unborn children. So I beg of you to do that. Because I believe it's in you. I believe that God has put it. The anointing of God is on you. The youth of this nation. To end child killing once and for all. Mm. To end Roe v. Wade in America. To end child killing in every country of the world. God has put it in you because He has put His life in you. As I said last night, it's all about life. It's about Jesus Christ and He is life. So it is about Jesus. When somebody tells you you don't need to be involved in politics and when somebody tries to discourage you, when somebody tries to tell you you shouldn't be such a radical Christian, ask them why in the world they ask you to read the Bible in the first place if they weren't going to let you live it out and be a Christian. It's about Jesus. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. Always listen. Always think about others, especially the poor and the oppressed more than you think about yourself mm -hmm. walk in that kind of humility and the anointing of god will be with you and you'll you'll not only know that he's with you you'll sense his presence and you'll know that his steps that he's walking right alongside of you mm -hmm. every step you walk mm -hmm. and god bless you all and we're going to continue and as we finish up and conclude the liturgy uh, there'll be a few more prayers we're going to say together right now the nicene creed together i believe in god the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I want you to understand as we read that creed, it's not, we don't just read words that we have spoken prophetically, not only to one another, to encourage one another, and that we still believe that after hell has hounded us, after Satan has done everything he can to stop us from believing that we say this day to one another, we still believe in Jesus Christ. Mm. We believe he's risen from the dead. And we say it to every evil spirit that sits around this place, that we believe in Jesus Christ who has risen from the dead. And we'll not believe, stop believing it as this creed has been said for more than... Uh, 1700 years in our church so let's now say together um, some prayers we're going to be, uh, begin again uh, on page 6 and this is a commendation as we commend the, the children that are going to be killed here today remembering that the end of their life is not in this building whether they're, they're put into a garbage incinerator or whether they're taken to a dumpster, that is not the end of their life. We commend them now because we believe in eternal life. Eternal life. We commend them now to our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's extend our hands toward the clinic representing the abortion clinics all over the world where children are being killed. Depart, O oh Christian souls, out of this world in the name of God the Father who created you. In the name of Jesus Christ who redeems you. In the name of the Holy Spirit who sanctifies you. May your rest be this day in peace and your dwelling place in the paradise of God. Amen. Almighty God, our Father in heaven, before whom live all who die in the Lord, receive our brothers and sisters into the courts of your heavenly dwelling place. Let their hearts and souls now ring out in joy to you, O Lord, the living God and the God of those who live.
May the souls and the souls of all the departed in Christ, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Now I'm going to read some prayers and there will be a few responses that you have booklets you can read along with me. Almighty and merciful God, recognizing our own participation as a nation in the deaths of preborn children and the deception of those who actively participate in their deaths, we ask that you would grant mercy and grace to the preborn and bring the deceived into a true conversion experience that they may know you, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray now with the response, Have mercy on us, O Lord. God the Father, creator of the world. Have mercy on us, O Lord. God the Son, through whom all things were made. Have mercy on us, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord Jesus, defender of the helpless. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sin of abortion. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For the daily killing of innocent babies. Have mercy on us, o Lord. For the bloodshed throughout the land. Have mercy on us, o Lord. For the silent screams of your children. Have mercy on us, o Lord. For the exploitation of women by abortion. Have mercy on us, o Lord. For the abandonment of children by their fathers. Have mercy on us, o Lord. For the rejection of children by their mothers. Have mercy on us, o Lord. For the silence of your people. Now let's say together as we confess our sins to one another and to God, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Now receive the absolution and the forgiveness of sin. The Almighty and the merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and the consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I'm going to turn now, and I'm going to ask uh, Father Carl Lynn. Father Carl, are you here? Father Carl Lynn, Executive Director of Restoration Academy in Birmingham, Alabama, and it's just a... Uh, a man that has given his heart to the oppressed and the unborn is going to uh, read now the prayers. And you have a, a response at the end of the, each prayer that he reads. Beginning with a prayer for spiritual warfare. Let us pray. Almighty and powerful God, drive all evil spirits away from the innocent preborn children and from the killing sinners where their 